She woke up very happy and she opened her eyes And she thought what a family I love making music videos because I can't think of any other way that you can combine so many creative mediums together and come out with something so unique and cool. It's my favorite thing. Ah, oh, we made it. About three years ago, we packed up all our stuff and moved here from Los Angeles. Here being with the island. I really wanted to get out of LA, no offense. Um, I had great times there and experienced and learned a lot of things. Sometimes I get carried away because I really like making things. Come on in and I'll show you. I really love to create atmosphere. I think that that's what God put me on this earth to do, create atmosphere and share it with people. I wanted to come to the Northwest because I'd always loved it ever since the first time I'd ever been here. I fell in love with it immediately and never dreamed that my husband would agree to move here. I figured while he does his dream going on the road, I'll be here at Pomegranate Ranch doing my dream. There is nothing like waking up to clean air and beautiful green surroundings. It's gray a lot here, but I don't mind that. I, I grew up in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I just couldn't wait to get out of that heat. After searching, we found four and a half acres, and I started building the pasture fence in November. I built the pasture fence myself. It was the end of fall and the beginning of winter. All the rocks are either rocks that I dug up out of our land or got at the beach. And I'm really happy with how it came out. I'd never done anything like that before, so it was kind of a challenge. I like to make lots of creative things. There's a bird in here. <laughs> I guess the barn swallows must think this is a barn, or they think it's their house, because every time I leave the door open, they come in. I bought some mahogany and designed those balustrades and had them cut out and got some stained glass to put in them. Aged the wood to look like an old church and my dad built the whole thing for me. He is amazing. Oh, well, we get a gardener to help out around here. I'm kind of it. And it's a lot. Um, it's a lot to upkeep. Horticultural therapy is great. This is arugula, my favorite salad. So these are turnips, lettuce, and obviously corn, which I'm really excited. You can see that it's getting um, silk on it. And I'm going to put some mineral oil on that to make sure it doesn't get worms. Little zucchinis are really nice in salad. Little tiny ones. Uh-oh, something's been eating it. Like the rabbits or something have been at that. I'll just cut that part off. I really feel that here I'll be able to do the best work I've ever done. Combined with my son. We've done some collaborating in the past that came out really, really well. But if we combine our efforts, we can come up with some really incredible stuff. My son Eric is deaf. It seems like he has a, an extra sense about motion graphics. I really feel like when I'm working on a video, um, the time just screams by at light speed. I look at my watch and I've been here for five hours and it seems like half an hour literally. Boston. I found him one day in my backyard when he was six weeks old. Just out of nowhere, he just appeared. Oh, yes. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. 
had this toy shelf since 1984, and I love it. I've taken it with me everywhere I've ever lived. I'm showing you the non-functional part of my office because that's just the way I am. It doesn't mean anything to anyone but me, but this toy shelf has been with me for a long time. I must add a correction. I started the toy shelf in 1984 and actually worked on collecting things for it until This is Snake and Eggs. I made that in 1989. It's a black light sculpture. I made a series of those and showed them in some galleries. This is Pomegranate, my band, and um, no longer existing. This was in Los Angeles, and we did a gig, and I have no footage other than what I shot on the TV and had no time to edit it, so that's for another time. I've always thought it would be amazing to combine three-dimensional work, photography, film, video, music, and performance art, and take all those things together and combine them into one entity at one time and do it live. I always thought that would be a lot of fun and a really cool goal to aspire to. But music videos are still my favorite medium. This is my music studio where I come to record music and write, and sometimes I come in here just to read or relax. It is the best room for me in the house. I love this room. It's my favorite room in the house. And obviously you can tell that I like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I really like Renaissance Revival and the Pre-Raphaelites art and anything to do with medieval or Renaissance art and music. I also really enjoy the Society for Creative Anachronism, which, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those geeks. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. My faith in God has gotten me through lots of difficult things like cancer and a divorce, among many other things. He's a part of my life every day and, well, that's how I get through. That's how I get through all the issues and crap that happens. I started doing scenic art as a living at the end of the second year of school, which actually was awesome. The first paying scenic job I had was called The Giving. It was an art film um, made in 1989 or 1990, and I was there six months. I learned a lot. It was really hard work, but I learned a lot about scenery. I went on to set shops after that, also working with designers and freelancing. I primarily have done that and photography until 2003 when I started working on videos again and I'm happy to report that I'm back doing music videos and I love it so much. I began studying in the cinema program at Los Angeles City College in 1987 and I did attend that school for two years. I loved making my own music videos, which is really all I did in school was make music videos. One of my films, Pyromania, got shown at the end of the semester on the big screen. Um, the final projects, they picked one out of every class and it was so much fun to have everyone come and watch it. I have to admit though, Scott at the time, <laughs> he did not like playing that character. 